let's work with estimating products. Here we might be asked to estimate the product of 87 times 25. We do have an actual answer, or an exact answer. And I'm going to go ahead and write that in for our exact answer. Now the thing you cannot do is that you cannot just round the exact answer. That would not be estimating the product. You can, however, use this estimated product to go ahead and check your answer. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. And then I add those two numbers together for our exact answer. Our exact answer for 87 times 25 is 2,175. Let's see how we use an estimated answer to check. What we do is we estimate one of the factors. And in this case, we'll estimate the 87 and round it to 90. We rounded it to the nearest 10. We'll keep the other factor the same. This problem, 90 times 25, should be a little easier than 87 times 25 to figure out. 90 times 5 is 450. That 2 is worth 20, so we place a 0. 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 9 is 18. Finally, we add those two numbers together. 2,250 is our estimated product. This makes sense that our estimated product is larger than our um, exact answer, in that we went up from 87 to 90. In fact, we went up 3, and 3 times 25 is 75, and that's why our answers are actually 75 away from each other. Here we're asked to estimate the product to the nearest hundreds place. So I take the 872 and round it to the nearest hundreds place. 872 nearest hundreds place is 900. And again, what I do is I keep the other factor the same. Using double digit multiplication here, 900 times 21, 900 times 1 is 900. 900 times this 2, this 2 is worth 20, so I place a 0. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 9 is 18. Adding those two together, I get 18,900. 18,900 is our estimated product. Here we're asked to estimate the product to the nearest tens place. So 176 to the nearest tens place is 180. And we keep the other factor the same. We'll start with 6 times 0, which is 0, 6 times 8, which is 48, 8, regroup the 4, 6 times 1, which is 6, plus 4, which is 10. Cross out that 4 so that we can work with that 3, which is worth 30. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 8 is 24, 4, regroup the 2, and 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, which is 5. Add those two together. And we get 6, 4, 8, 0. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that 0. It was a little sloppy. So our answer again in our estimated product is 6,480. Here the instructions say to estimate to the nearest thousands. So again, we take this factor here and round it to the thousands place. And we keep the other factor the same. 9,000 times 6 will give us 54,000. And that can give us an estimated product so that when we do figure out the exact answer, we can understand whether or not our exact answer is reasonable. Okay, it is your turn. Estimate products to the nearest hundreds place for these two problems. Go ahead and work them out, please. Estimate the products to the nearest hundreds place for each of these problems. Remember, just take one of those factors to round it first and then multiply. Hit pause while you're working on these problems. If you completed that work for that first problem, you would have ended up with this answer right here. 
5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Our estimated product is 12,000. 762 goes to 800, excuse me, and we multiply that by 23. 800 times 3 is 2,400. Place a 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 8 is 16. Adding those together, we get 18,400 as our estimated product. And as you see, I moved that up a little so I could write that in. 18,400 is our estimated product for 800 times 23. Okay, let's go ahead and review. Here's the instruction that says estimate to hundreds place. And so what it means is to estimate the product to the hundreds place. What we do is we only take one of those factors there to round it to the hundreds place. And so 4,837 to the hundreds place is 4,800. It is very important that you round that number correctly to that correct place of whatever place it indicates. If it doesn't indicate a place to round it to, then you may choose that place to round it to. Remember, you keep the other factor the same. Next, you just go through the multiplication process. 4,800 times that 4 to begin with. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 8 is 32. 2, regroup the 3. And 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Remember, you're not done there, as you still have to work with that 2, which is worth 20. That's why you place the 0 first. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 8 is 16. 6, regroup the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, which is 9. And then we add those numbers together. Please do not write your estimated product in the wrong spot. In other words, our exact answer goes right here where I'm indicating, whereas here I have figured out our estimated product. Remember, only take one of those factors, keep the other factor the same, and then do your multiplication work. That's how you estimate products.